this story takes place in Texas. Okay. Never heard of it. Uh, uh, in <laughs> Hill Country Village, Texas, specifically. Okay. okay. Um, Hill Country. This is a suburban neighborhood. Takes place in a woman's backyard. It's midday. She sees an animal. Walking through her yard. Doesn't know what it is. Doesn't look like anything she's seen before. It stops. It eats some berries off of a berry bush. Berries. Yeah. It's a ve- it's a vegetarian or an omnivore. And, and and then it sort of disappears into the into the wooded area behind her house. Okay. So first thoughts here about this berry eating strange <laughs> animal in it's the deer. suburbs of Texas. It's a deer. It's in the suburbs. It walks up. Oh, but she doesn't know what it is. So it's not just a she common know deer. It it's yeah, 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 yeah. That's dumb. Uh, it is a mangy. No. Yeah, it's a mangy fox. It's a mangy fox. Okay. Okay. All right. I mean, re- let's remember that Texas is the home of the most reported mm. chupacabra sightings. A- a- and and are- where the most eccentric weirdos have like big animals in their backyards coming. From but me. true. I, but a, a chupacabra is not eating berries, mate. Come on. No, right. Because <laughs> no. they suck the, the blood of goats. <laughs> That's yes. right. All right. The goat uh, sucker. Let me, but it could be. It could be. I'm going to give you one more piece of information before okay. we uh, show the photo. Ooh, yeah. we got a photo. So, um, someone from one zoo who weighed in, a zoologist, if you will, said <laughs> <will>. um, – <laughs> that it is very likely an American badger. Mm. Well, okay. another zoologist said he believes it is a uh, a dog-coyote hybrid. Koi dog. Huh. Pretty, pretty different takes there, though. I very. Those two things are not similar. Let's take a look at this photo. Let's see if we can yeah, break it down the photo. here. Yeah. Zoom in, please. Mm. Wow, that's that's it, huh? That's It's pretty ugly. It's, it's very... Uh... Yeah, it looks just like so weathered. If, first of all, Hard I years. don't know who said it's a badger, but it's definitely not a badger. So, Kyle, <laughs> pull up a picture of an American badger, badger, please. I mean, there's nothing there badger-esque at all. It was a zoologist. Um, well, <laughs> he needs prescription glasses. Um, <laughs> but that, uh, that there's your American badger. The legs are wrong. The body shape is wrong. Yeah. That ain't it. There's, um, the, there's a missing tail though. The, the the mystery picture looks like it doesn't have a tail. Am I, or am I seeing? I that see wrong? the tail. No, you oh, can is see it yeah, a little stumpy. I think it's there. I think it's yeah. hanging down there. Oh, um, okay, there it is. Yeah. Well, I know what I think it is, but I couldn't tell you exactly what it is. Um, I mean, it appears to have a tusk coming out of its mouth. There is <laughs> something going on in the front there. I don't know. I if bet, just, that's got to be the berry bush or what's yeah. happening over there. It looks um, like a dingo. So here's Kyle. Do me a favor. Open a new tab, and type in uh, Belize pot liquor. I sure hope <laughs> porn doesn't come up. Um, <laughs> go to images. So these are these pups. Uh, man, they're very diverse. When we were in Belize, I almost brought one of these guys home because I loved him. But yeah, go to that guy. Go to the one with the big, big perky ears there on the left. Three so down. This is the type left. of domestic dog. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's basically just a crazy mongrel, but. Um, they they have a lot of these. So what I'm seeing in that picture is just a real mixed up mutt, kind of like that pot liquor that's yeah riddled with mange, like lost yep. all his fur. I mean, just just looks her just riddled with mange. Like has those pox that sort of skin issue, no mm-hmm. fur. You can kind of see the testes in the back there under the tail, meaning it's a ah. male. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing like just a real mangy mongrel. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I got to agree. It, it looks like just a, 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 kind of like a swollen dog of some type. Like it's look at look at how fat its limbs are. They're very thick and you can see all its wrinkles. It just looks like it's had some hard years out there in the wild. Some hard years. Are you buying the koi, the koi dog? I don't really I don't see the coyote. So. Yeah. I don't see any coyote and it's stocky. You know, the coyotes always have that lean, like the belly goes concave, you know, like that mm-hmm. lean mm. agile, like the way a greyhound or a whippet or something has that, that look, or even a German shepherd. This is much more square bodied. I'm, I'm just seeing a real mangy street dog, basically. 
Yeah. Yeah, that is what it looks like. Why he would be eating berries, I don't know. That's pretty odd. But I guess if he's mangy and just desperate, you know, whatever. He whatever looks pretty out. well fed, though, honestly. It looks it doesn't look like emaciated or anything, which is interesting. true, so but he's trash. Definitely yeah. not in good shape. Yeah. Also, no, no. have you have you been to Texas? Like they're skinny don't <laughs> exist. OK, so uh, <laughs> everything's bigger there. Everything's bigger in Texas. Even their even their even their dying street dogs. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm calling it. What uh, what do you guys think? Oh, I mean, yeah, dog. Yeah, I got to agree. It's 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 definitely a canine. Like it's a dog. There's no way that it's a uh, badger. That was ludicrous. Yeah, that was um, that was a Paul. Poor Paul. I gotta, you right. know, it, good mystery. Yeah. mystery solved. We found a street dog. There is no answer to this, though. The, Correct. The, it's just a straight up mystery. OK, uh, well, well I don't weigh know. in. That's Brosner's bad. weigh in. What do you think in the comments? Would love to hear your thoughts. Always love to read those and uh, get a sense of what's going on in the community when it comes to these animal mysteries.